What's going on guys? So crazy day in the market today. We ended up green, but just a wild pre-market pump followed by a big dump, big pump again, big dump, power hour pump up, and then another dump. It was just obviously up, down, up, down, up, down all day. Glad we made out well. Um, let's just dive right into these trades. All right, guys. So just going right into futures. So basically um, swinging, just to let you guys know, I am swinging 15 micros long over the weekend um, for ES. We'll go over that. But um, yeah, let's just dive into it right away. So uh, pretty much last night took a couple of longs right around um, the close pretty much to swing. Um, you guys remember when I posted the video yesterday, I was in a couple of ES still. So held on to those, um, closed them when I woke up this morning around 8.15. Um, and then I had another one that I closed on the dip here as well. Um, ES, I also took a couple scalps towards the lows here. So basically once we went down, let me show you guys here right here so once we went down towards the lower end of that flag if you guys remember i said i was watching the upper end here right so we went towards that lower end of that bull flag that we had back in june um so i was watching for um, some support to come in there scaled into a little bit of a position uh, the main trades that i did today though were on nq so we'll just look right into that um before we get into the crazy shit i did there um let's first zoom it all the way out okay and where are we fills and order show trade lines there we go so first off same thing as uh es last night i actually sniped the bottom um it was a great trade so i entered pretty much around like 8 30. um if you guys noticed i tweeted out about china open was very strong so that was around like 8 30 9 o'clock um and china just ripped all night long so china was ripping all night long i think they closed today up um let me see they closed today up 3.7 percent so a great move up for um baba badu shout out trading spartan for the 500k day on baba um and a bunch of names uh, in the Chinese section, you know, were all popping up off of that. Uh, you know, just same old bullshit that China says, you know, they're going to work with uh, firms and uh, investing in Chinese names and then they never follow up. So maybe they will this time. Uh, I'm a little upset about that because I wanted to get into some China names either today or Monday and I didn't get in yesterday. So we'll see what happens. But anyway bought some longs off that low basically after we popped up um four o'clock we came back down so that's where i look to enter right off of this support um to hold overnight so i think i bought about two or three there um yeah three sold one right at the open around 805 and then again right on that dip now this dip that we had okay this dip that we had again I use the overnight session. Okay, so the overnight session we were popping up 3, 4 a.m. This is 4 a.m. This is the Europe open. Um, also, uh, sorry, 3 a.m. is the Europe open. And then 4 a.m. is when pre-market opens. So pre-market for U.S. stocks, right? So this is always going to be a big level, this 3, 4 a.m. level, um, just to see what happens with the market. So when I saw us dipping into there, I knew today I didn't want to um, really come into uh, the trading day looking for a big move up right away. Okay. And that's because we already had one pre-market, right? So a lot of names were popping up high. So I wanted to see some type of fade and then a move up. So, you know, we switch over to the one minute chart here. I was going absolutely crazy. Um, scaling in down to that level. Now you guys, as you've probably seen a lot of the trades I take, a lot of them are scaling into positions. So I usually scale into five to six ES or NQ contracts towards my support level within usually like a 30 to 40 point range. And then I look to um, sell a couple of the ads from the lows at the break even mark. So you'll see here, this is how futures usually work. It's first in first out. So you're going to see the um, the close on a contract be whatever the first open was, right? So, you know, if I, for instance, entered a, uh, a play here, 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 right? The first one 
when I close it, right, for instance, when I close the trade right here, this one, this, this sell order, right, after I bought the dip, it's going to say that I closed this one for a loss. But it might just be me closing a couple of these ads that I did for a small gain. And basically what I'm doing is I usually like to, whenever I do um, a bunch of ads near the lows, I like to take quick profits on those. And all that I'm really doing is making the average price, right? Like if I bought here, making it a little lower, like here, right? Instead. So that's why you always, it's, it's a bit hard to follow a lot of my futures trades. They are all based around playing zones. So you'll see, for instance, like when the market pops back down to retest a previous breakdown level here, right? I started scaling in here, scaling in here, exited a couple on the pop back up to that break even zone, right? And then held the rest towards that opening uh, drive that we had pre-market right here, right? So I sold one here again came back down started scaling in right sold here that break even mark again right and then rode these up uh, later in the day we came back down swept under these lows look like a good long as well took this and then towards the end of the day i actually was looking to scale into some type of swing position but the market did not present itself correctly so instead what i had was uh, a position being built i think i was up to like nine contract uh, about nine or ten contracts at this point um a swing position being built into a sweep below the low of day and a pump up and to be fair with you guys it I, I, we did get that right we got a sweep under this low of day and we got that pop up but I started selling way too aggressively before and the reason I was selling a lot before here is because this started to turn into a bear flag scenario right it kind of looked like a dump down and then either a bearish rectangle or bear flag so I wasn't sure if we were gonna really pop up or not um, obviously power hour you can see here right at 3 p.m. we just surged up I didn't catch any of that move here uh, however you know when we go over to ES right I was able to um, catch a little bit of that action per se so we have oh we're on the daily i was like what's going on right you'll see here that i uh i bought two contracts sold one real quick i meant to only buy one and then i was able to make 687 off of that so you know now i'm just swinging off of that same daily level that i set on es so on mes right now you know i'm swinging from this level here um right here basically retesting that flag so if bears wanted to sweep it under the lows here before bulls step in this will be the time again just one and a half contracts long we're down a little bit there so nothing too crazy but um that's it uh the money still hasn't hit i don't know if i type something in i gotta call uh, td but um you'll see exactly what was made uh excuse me what was lost today on a uh, shop so shop looked good at pre-market um let's go to shop shop we had a great pre-market opened up nicely i think we were up like six seven k at least um just to start the day still down overall in that position but um then just kind of dwindled down uh and then towards that one o'clock just started aggressively selling off now the thing is with this name is when it snaps back it snaps back hard right so i'm really looking to still hold these and again the problem with this is I'm swinging a position for next week. If this was a month out, it would be a little bit of a safer play, right? But um, again, playing a little bit with house money. So we're looking at this 200 MA to scale down to. So maybe next week I will roll them out another week and pick a different strike to scale in. But this is the level, right, that I was talking about back in those February highs that I'm looking to scale in. So if I'm off by one or two dollars, it's not going to be a big deal because shop will have usually a rip day, you know, five, six percent up. Um, when it chooses to uh, have that reversal. So that's what I'm looking for here, but we are down a bit on that right now and um, that's it. But I hope you guys have a good weekend. We'll see where we go next week. I'm very, very light now, you know, uh, 6K in shop, I think. And then we have uh, just the 15 MES. So hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll catch you guys next week. Cheers.